Praise the Lord. Greetings to you once again in the name of Yashua Hamashiach and welcome you to this YouTube channel for the Wednesday Bible study. For weeks uh, we have been seeing God's word. God has been kind to us to make us understand his word and as we keep on studying the word uh, we may be able to understand uh, all his plan and purpose and we are thankful to God for uh, making us understand many things and thankful to you all for uh, listening to God's holy words and all the beautiful thing God has mentioned in the scriptures and as we continue uh, in studying the word because Bible is a beautiful book and uh, we need to understand all the deeper things God has said it and uh, this week we'll have a new subject the name of the subject is the army of heaven mentioned in Daniel chapter 4 verse 35 the subject is the army of heaven mentioned in Daniel chapter 4 verse 35 under this subject we'll have uh, uh, first we'll have scriptures uh, regarding that and then we'll see the Hebrew and the Greek meaning because when we go through the Greek and Hebrew then we get a a uh, clear understanding uh, of the word of God. The second uh, subtopic is seven army of heaven. Uh, we'll see the seven army of heaven. That is the second topic. Under that, we'll see about the twenty-four elders. Uh, the second is seraphims. The third is cherubims. Uh, fourth is about Michael. Fifth is Gabriel. Uh, sixth is Palmani that may be new to you but that is there in the scriptures and the seventh is angels so these are the army of heaven uh, we'll go in detail and uh, see all that God has mentioned in the scriptures so before we could uh, start let's pray that God may give us wisdom through the power of the Holy Ghost to understand uh, all the deeper things so let's bow down our heads close our eyes that we may pray Father in heaven, God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Almighty God, everlasting Father, the true and the living God, the lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star, the fairest of ten thousands to my soul. The Alpha and Omega, we give all glory to you. In this evening time, Lord, as we, Lord, break the word, we pray thou may give us uh, wisdom through the power of the Holy Ghost to understand thy word. Enlighten us, illuminate us, teach us, make us understand so that we may walk a little more closer than ever before. Have mercy upon us, Lord, and uh, help us to understand thy word. Bless the one that is going to speak, and bless all those who are going to hear, that your great name be exalted, Lord. Commit everything to the hand, for we ask all these things in the blessed, sweet, holy, and excellent name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. So today's topic is the army of heaven. Uh, mentioned in Daniel chapter 4 35 the first subtopic is scripture and meaning that is Hebrew and Greek so the first scripture we see again uh, same Daniel 4 35 says and all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing and he doth according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth so he does everything according to his will in the army of heaven and also among the inhabitants of the earth and none can stay his hand or say unto him what does thou so nobody can ask God because he is the one who does things what is right just and true so nobody can stay his hand nor say unto him what does thou because he is the creator he is the redeemer and he is the sustainer he is the one who does everything so we need to give all glory to him so he does according to his will in the army of heaven and also among the inhabitants of the earth. Uh, the word army in uh, Hebrew it is called Kahi. The word army in Hebrew is called Kahi. Kahi means strength or power or a force. Now we see the same word army also in the 
book of Revelation chapter 19, 14 and uh, Revelation chapter 19, 19. Uh, either it is armies or army. Uh, in Greek it is called stratyoma. Stratyoma means a body of troops or soldiers. That's what uh, the Greek meaning is. Uh, stratyoma means a body of troops or soldiers. So this uh, army of heaven, uh, we'll see now move to the second topic. Uh, now we'll see about the seven army of heaven. Uh, that is the power of God in heaven, uh, all the uh, angels and uh, all the other people there, we'll see who are all there. Uh, the first uh, out of the seven army of heaven, the first is 24 elders. Now, regarding these 24 elders, Revelation chapter 4 verse 4 says, And round about the throne were, 20, uh, were 4 and 20 seats, and upon the seats I saw 4 and 20 elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had uh, on their head crowns of gold. Now the same uh, about 24 elders, it is also mentioned, in Revelation chap chapter 4.10, uh, Revelation chapter 5.14 and Revelation chapter 19.4. So the 4 and 24 elder, elders, they are mainly the worshippers of God. Like when you read uh, Revelation chapter 5.14, it says, And the four beasts said, Amen. And the 4 and 20 elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. So they are worshippers. So these 24 elders are basically worshippers in heaven. Uh, in the army of God, they are the first uh, group of people, uh, group, uh, group of elders there. So these 24 elders, they always are in white raiment. Uh, and they had their heads, uh, on their heads there was a crown of gold and they always worship uh, the true and the living God. So these are the 24 elders that you see, uh, that is the first thing in the seventh army of heaven. The second we move further is uh, seraphims. Uh, they are uh, angels. Uh, they are called seraphims. Uh, in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 6, 2 and 3 says, A boy stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. Now these seraphims have six wings. Uh, with twain he covered his face and with twain he covered his feet and with twain he did fly. So with uh, two wings he covered the face, with two wings he covered the feet and with two wings uh, he did fly. Now they are seraphims and uh, one cried unto another and said, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. The same scripture, uh, it is also repeated in uh, Revelation chapter 4. Uh, when you read 6 to 8, you will see the uh, more or less the same scriptures there also. Uh, so these are the uh, angels that are called seraphims. Uh, they are there in heaven and the seraphims have six wings. With two it covers the face, with two it covers the feet and uh, with two it uh, flies. So that is about seraphims. That is the second thing that we see in the army of heaven. The third thing, uh, the third thing that is uh, out of the seven army of heaven, the third thing is cherubims. Now uh, we see uh, the cherubim in the uh, tabernacle, in the temple it was there. So in 1 King chapter 6 verse 23-24 1 King chapter 6 verse 23-24 it says And within the oracle he made two cherubim of olive tree each ten cubits high and, uh, and five cubits was the one wing of the cherub and five cubits the other wing of the cherub from the uttermost part of the one wing unto the uttermost part of the other were 10 cubits. 
so these cherubims have two wings like seraphims they have six wings but here cherubims they have two wings and uh, some more scriptures regarding these cherubims in psalms 18 verse 10 says and he rode upon a cherub and did fly yeah he did fly upon the wings of the wind so uh, god uh, when he moves he moves on a cherub that's what bible says he rode upon a cherub and did fly now that's what about uh, cherubims that you see and uh, there is another scripture uh, in psalms 80 verse 1 says thou that dwellest between the uh, cherubim uh, shine forth so thou god dwelleth between the cherubims so that is also mentioned in uh, psalms 99 verse 1 and also in isaiah chapter 37 words 16 so this is about uh, cherubim now they have got two wings but seraphims they have got uh, six wings uh, we have seen about uh, 24 elders and they are the worshipers of god in heaven so these are the these are the things that we have seen through the scriptures so we saw now about cherubim that is the third uh, thing that is in the army of god now we move on further the fourth thing is uh michael is the archangel uh, it is about michael we'll see a uh, few scriptures regarding michael daniel chapter 10 verse 13 it says but the prince of the kingdom of persia uh withstood me uh, that is again uh satan withstood me 1 and 20 days that is 21 days because daniel was uh, fasting and praying that time his prayer was not going up to god uh, this prince of the kingdom of persia means the devil uh, withstood 21 days but lo michael one of the chief prince came to help me so michael michael came to help uh, uh, daniel and then we, we see that his prayer uh, went before the throne of god so this is uh, a one scripture that we have seen uh, in again in daniel chapter 12 verse 1 when we read it says at that time shall michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people that is whenever there is a war uh, in israel always michael will stand for them that's why it says at that time shall that is also in the end time michael shall stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people so so michael is like a war minister in the cabinet of heaven or in the army of heaven he is there always uh, to fight for israel uh, for his people and uh, he is like a war minister always taking care of uh, his people the people of israel again the book of jude in the new testament when we come to the book of jude verse 9 he says yet michael the archangel so you see again in the new testament also here uh, michael's name is written is the archangel then again in first uh, thessalonica chapter 4 verse 16 it says for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel that is michael so here again it is mentioned uh, then uh, again when we read revelation chapter 12 verse 7 he says there was war in heaven and michael and his angels fought against the dragon so michael is like a war minister and he always stands for israel and he always fights for them and uh, whenever there is a war michael is the one who stands for them that's what the scripture says so he is uh, in the army of heaven uh, that is the fourth thing that we have seen about michael so out of the seven army of god we have seen four first we have seen about the 24 elders then we saw about seraphims then we saw about uh, cherubims uh, now we have seen about michael now we move to the fifth uh, one in the seven army of god that is the fifth one is gabriel now what is his duty what work he does Uh, we will see through the scriptures 
uh, when we read Luke chapter 119 it says and the angel answering said unto him I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of God and I am sent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glad tidings uh, so here he is the one who always stands in the presence of God he is the one who always passes the messenger messages uh, so he works as a messenger he passes on the messages to the people uh, all this thing he does it so that's why he is always in the presence of God and uh, he said I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of God and I am sent to speak unto thee and to show thee glad tidings so uh, this is about uh, uh, Zachariah and the family that you see there that's why it is uh, mentioned about them uh, so he was the one who gave them uh, the message so that's why it says he stands in the presence of God and he is uh, one who gives message from God to the people so when we read uh, Luke chapter 1 we will see about uh, from 5th verse onwards we see about uh, Zachariah and his wife Elizabeth and uh, here in uh, 19 that uh, the word that we have seen uh, we see about the it is about the birth of John who later on became the Baptist John the Baptist so therefore he was the one who brought this uh, uh, message to Zachariah uh, so he is a mess one who gives the message he is in the presence of God uh, to give you more understanding let's go back to the book of Daniel chapter 9 verse 21 and 22 here it says Daniel chapter 9 21 22 yeah while I was speaking in prayer that is Daniel even that even the man Gabriel whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning being caused to fly swiftly touched me about the time of the evening oblation uh, that is the evening sacrifice and he informed me and talked with me and said oh Daniel I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding so he was specifically sent to give Daniel skill and understanding so this is the job of Gabriel he is always in the presence of God and he is the one uh, who always sends the message from God to the people and we have seen here two examples uh, one he gave the message to Zachariah here second we saw that he gave message to Daniel and he said I have come specifically to give thee skill and understanding so we have seen about Gabriel now this is the fifth uh, thing in the army in the army of heaven now we will move on to the sixth thing the sixth is uh, Palmoni now this is a name you might not have heard it but uh, when you go deep into the scriptures you will know uh, about Palmoni uh, there is only one scripture regarding Palmoni that is uh, in Daniel chapter 8 verse 13 here it says then I heard one saint speaking unto another saint said unto that certain saint which spake how long shall the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden under foot so this certain saint that is also an angel uh, a saint now the when you read the gold deep into it then you see that uh, like a lot of English uh, when you read the King James Version when you see the side references there it is written is the number of secrets is the number of secrets and he is the wonderful numberer and his name is Palmoni you may not have heard it but it is there his job uh, is to always do uh, numbering that's why you see the whole bible is numbered like every uh, you know that every uh, Hebrew alphabet it has got numerical value also so you see the whole Bible is a book of numbers that's why you see a uh, very common number is the number 7 the perfect number uh, 
so when you read the bible also you will come across uh, when you read it carefully and uh, when you read it minutely you will see that uh, you see the numerical numericals you see there like when you read uh, revelation chapter 6 15 uh, if you carefully read there there are seven persons there one is kings of the earth number two great men third rich men fourth chief captains fifth mighty men sixth every born man seventh every free man so like that when you read uh, the scriptures and when you carefully read it you see that there are numericals there number 7 you see or number 3 or number 2 or uh, number 8 number 9 or 10 now every i already preached about this uh, biblical numerology that you see in the bible i already preached you can go through the messages earlier uh, about the numbers because every number has got a spiritual meaning like 7 is the god's perfect number and that's why we are seen here now in revelation 6:15 there are seven things like that same thing we'll read the revelation chapter 7 12 it says saying amen number one blessing number two glory number three wisdom number four thanksgiving number five honor number six power number seven might so when you minutely read it you will see that there are seven things now this is all done by palmani this is a job of palmani he is a numberer of secrets or he is the wonderful numberer his duty was to bring numbering in the bible that's why uh, when you minutely read the scriptures uh, you will see that uh, many a times you will see eight things seven things five things now all that has got meanings every numeral uh, numerical number has got meaning like one you see it is god number two is witness three is god is perfected in three four you see it is a number of the world five it is uh, grace uh, six is the number of man because man was created on the sixth day seven is a complete number or a perfect number so like that you see uh, also uh, when you read the scriptures uh, as i said minutely uh, you will come across so many numericals now this uh, putting of all this like this here we see that how in revelation Uh, in uh, chapter 6 verse 15 revelation chapter 7 12 seven things are mentioned now this was the job of palmani so palmani is the one who does this work uh, so that uh, when you study about numerology from the bible you will enjoy it and you will see that god has written everything so beautifully so that is the job of palmani and uh, he is the one who does all these things of doing the numbering in the bible and that's why he is another uh, army in the heaven angel who does all these things so this is the sixth thing that we have seen in the army of heaven the seventh thing it is angels uh, angels are also created by god now uh, we'll see some few scriptures regarding angels uh, revelation chapter 5 verse 11 it says and i beheld and i heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beast and uh, the elders and the number of them was 10000 times 10000 so that goes in crores then he says and thousands of thousands so god has got thousands and thousands of angels 10000 of 10000 angels that are surrounding the throne of god uh, that's what in the old testament also uh, you see that uh, uh, there are many uh, scriptures mentioned so you see that we we'll see some uh, more scriptures in uh, psalm 68 verse 17 says the chariots of god are 20000 even thousands of angels the lord is among them as in uh, sinai in the holy place so there are thousands of angels that's what in psalms also we have seen again in uh, psalms 103 verse 20 it says bless the lord he is angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word so there are many angels we have seen through the scriptures 
again when we come to hebrew chapter 12 verse 22 says but you are come unto mount zion and unto the city of the living god the heavenly jerusalem and to an innumerable company of angels so uh, we see that innumerable company of angels now uh, we see thousands of angels like to give you uh, one example that when uh, the uh, the king of syria came to war against uh, israel in the time of uh, prophet elisha so in second king chapter 6 verse 15 uh, it says when the servant of the man of god was risen early and gone forth behold a host compassed the city both with horses and chariots and his servant said unto him alas my master how shall we do and he answered that is elisha the prophet answered fear not for they that be with us are more than they that be with them and elisha prayed and said lord i pray thee open his eyes that he may see and the lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about elisha so therefore these are all angels so we see that god has got thousands and thousands of angels uh, now there is one more scripture that we'll see now here in uh, matthew chapter uh, 26 uh, verse 52 jesus has said to peter one of his disciples put up again thy sword into his place for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword verse 53 says thinkest thou that i cannot now pray to my father and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels 12 legions of angels but 54 verse says but how then shall the scripture be fulfilled that thus it must be so here it says 12 legions of angels now these legions uh, they are uh, that is uh, they are the roman regiment now the roman regiment it is uh, in those time it was 6100 foot soldier and 726 horsemen 6100 foot soldier and 726 horsemen totally it is 6826 that is one regiment one roman regiment now here Jesus has said, if I pray to the Father, He will send 12 legions. So 6826, one legion. And if it is 12 legions into 12, it will be 81,912 angels will come right away to help Yahshua Hamashiach. So therefore, we know that uh, uh, God has got many angels. So even in uh, Jacob's time, you'll see that uh, uh, when he dreamed uh, in uh, Genesis chapter 28 verse 12 says, and he dreamed that is Jacob and behold a ladder set upon the earth and the top of it reached to heaven and behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it. Again, we see in 32 chapter verse 1, Jacob went his, on his way and the angels of God met him. So therefore, God has got many angels. He has got, we saw uh, Jesus Christ himself mentioning about uh, 12 legions. So I showed you that one legion according to the Roman regiment, it is uh, 6,100 foot soldiers, 726 horsemen. Together it is 6,826 is one uh, Roman regiment. Now, uh, that is what we see that if you divide into 12, because he said 12 legions, then that becomes 81,912. So what I'm trying to make you understand is that God has many angels, thousands and thousands of them. So this is the big army in heaven. So we have seen today uh, the army of heaven. We saw uh, first thing scriptures and the Hebrew and the Greek meaning about army. Then we saw the seven army of heaven. First we saw the 24 elders, uh, we saw that they were the worshippers of God, then we saw seraphims, they are also on the throne and they have six wings, 
then we saw cherubims they have got two wings and god rideth upon the cherub uh, then we saw about michael he is a war minister uh, then we saw gabriel he is the messenger and then we saw palmeni the numberer then we saw angels who always helps you and uh, we know that uh, when a person believes god there is an angel with you and that is the angel that will carry you through and when you die also you see that angel carries you like how lazarus was carried by the angel into the bosom of abraham so therefore uh, god says the angel of the lord encampeth round about them that fear god so therefore uh, all these things god has written it so this is the army of heaven that i have showed you through the scriptures that you may honor god and do all that which is right so that god may bless you so that you may have all the understanding in the scriptures god has written everything beautiful so when you study you understand the word of god well so that you may able to know uh, the work of uh, each army of heaven and we have seen all those things through the scriptures and uh, may the good lord bless you uh, through this word so today we before we could uh, close this bible study class let's pray for all those who may be sick in worries and tensions and anxieties uh, we we'll pray for them because bible says the prayer of faith shall save the sick so let's bow down heads close our eyes and pray for all those who are sick and in worries and tensions father in heaven god of abraham isaac and jacob almighty god the everlasting father the prince of peace the true and the living god the same yesterday today and forever lord we honor thee praise and worship thee lord god almighty thank you for the word that you gave us to minister about the army of heaven we have seen all those things through the scriptures we give all glory to you in this time lord we pray for all those who are sick in worries and tensions anxieties and what all be their problem we pray god in the name of yashwa the messiah lord touch them and heal them forgive all the sin shortcoming failures and wrongs wash them cleanse them through the precious blood of yashwa the messiah make their life holy and clean accept them as set as a living sacrifice have mercy upon them lord bless them keep them by the word that your great name we have sought lord by all parts of darkness none of those will force my power that your great name be exalted lord thank you for hearing us for we ask all these things in the blessed sweet holy and excellent name of our lord and savior yashua hamashiach amen so we wish to once again thank you uh, for listening to the word of god if you like it you can share it make others understand the deeper things from the word that god may able to bless you and bless all those who are going to hear god's word uh, thank you for uh, uh, listening to the word may the good lord bless you and keep you strong praise the lord